Hey, hey, what is up YouTube? Andrew Rooney here. I'm a full-time drummer and drum teacher here in Auckland, New Zealand. And we are up to track four of Black Sabbath week. This one is NIB. I don't know what NIB stands for. I could click on this uh, That's what she said. here on Wikipedia, but I'm not going to. I'm going to let you guys tell me in the comments what NIB means. And maybe, I'm, maybe I find out during the song, maybe not. Absolutely blown away with, uh, so far we've had track one, self-titled, from the album, Black Sabbath, to The Wizard, three, Behind the Wall of Sleep. Now NIB. NIB is one another one of the songs, like The Wizard, that a lot of you said you gotta check out NIB. And I think uh, my good buddy Cole Goodley, jazz school uh, alumni friend, um, I think Cole, if you're watching this, I think you suggested checking this one out. And um, yeah, a lot of people have uh, raved about NIB so I cannot wait. Guys if you would like to support the channel you can do so by hitting that subscribe and like button and leaving a comment with what you think of this video or what you'd like me to check out in the future and at the end of the video uh, when I give some thoughts on what I've watched I'll roll through some of your comments from the previous one. If you really want to put your money where your mouth is and help keep the said. lights on here you can do so by joining up with my Patreon it's just five dollars and you get access to the blocked videos. And if you would like to make a request, that is done via PayPal. That is a guaranteed request that I will definitely do on the channel. Whew. With that said, let's check out NIB. Let's hit it. Oh, that flows from the previous. Hold on, that flows on from the previous song behind the wall of sleep, doesn't it? I love that, I love it. Wow, okay. It's like a big medley. Geezer, killing it. It's a high, noise floor here which i also appreciate <laughs> the things you appreciate as you get older in this perfect digital world we've actually got noise on a recording what a beautiful thing and left foot ostinato and bill ward
from Woods. I've got as much to say about that one uh, as I have previously. It's just a kick song. <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't really know what to say at this point. That's just so phenomenal. I can see why people were requesting NIB before. And this is why I felt like I had to go through and listen to this first album. Go back to the start. Having been so blown away with Black Sabbath, being so shocked at Bill Ward and shocked at what Bill Ward's about. I did not expect this drumming approach from a six, late 60s, early 70s rock band or heavy metal band. If you want to go there, I don't know. I'm not well versed enough in heavy, re the really heavy genres to know of their influence. I can clearly Obviously, you know, the distortion and the dark themes and the, the ominous, um, you know, lyric content and all that, obviously. Musically, I'm, I'm just not well versed enough. I can clearly hear the grunge, you know, that lineage. But um, yeah, but in saying that, the drum, the actual, it's really hard to put your finger on because these guys are a little bit like Led Zeppelin, but probably more so, they jump around style wise not only from song to song but within the songs it's just so surprising to me and bill ward you know people you know often will say things like oh he bet that kit like it owed him money and i think a lot of people said that on previous bill ward videos and watching them live he was belting the kit but there is a lot of finesse there is so much independence i keep coming back to that word because for me, with Bill Ward, it's independence. It's just pure chops. Again, you heard the Bonham triplets. I always refer to the hand, hand, foot as Bonham triplets. Did people play that lick before Bonham? Of course they did. But I just refer to it as Bonham triplets. <laughs> um, and just the musicality, the dynamics, 
the sitting back and adding like a comping flavor to what is going on as opposed to just caveman two and four love me some caveman two and four but that's not what bill ward's all about that's not his game he kind of snakes around underneath he finds grooves within the grooves and he fills in all the gaps and it's just such a beautiful puzzle that he sews together from the drum throne absolutely phenomenal that's all i'm going to say on this one i really do look forward to your guys comments in the comment section i need to get into uh, some of the lyrics as well i think that's really going to help out with understanding where this is all coming from and you know the fandom and how the audience really how the audience accepted this or didn't accept it in 1970 you know obviously some people would have been shocked and what they're hearing and people are talking about lucifer and satan and i mean it's not it would have been pretty hard to take for a lot of people hit me in the comments if you're a big fan and i'm assuming you are if you're watching this video hit me in the comments with uh, your thoughts on nib and what nib actually stands for because I, I didn't actually pick it up in the song <laughs> my apologies Hey guys, remember if you do enjoy the channel, please make sure to hit that subscribe button, like button, leave me a comment, and um, I'll roll it through at the end of the next video in the Black Sabbath week number two. Until tomorrow, catch you then. Ciao.